This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. It is good to be here on this Christmas morning as we celebrate, as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Aren't we glad to be here this morning? Aren't we glad that God woke us up once again? Aren't we glad that he gave us the activity of our limbs? Aren't we glad to be in the service one more time? So let us worship him this morning. For they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen.
But Lord, you made a way out of no way. So as we come together this morning, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord, that when our eyes opened this morning, we saw a brand new day. We thank you, Lord, because you gave us the activity of our limbs. We're able to dress ourselves, feed ourselves. Then, Lord, you cleared the road so that we can drive this morning to be here in the house of worship to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Truly, you've been good to us. Throughout this 2022, Lord, you've been there with us every step of the way. Some of us have lost loved ones. You comforted us in our time of bereavement. Some of us have been sick. But Lord, you healed us. Some of us have had unkind words said to us. But Lord, you made our enemies leave us alone. And as we come today and celebrate this Christmas, we realize that there will be a lot of gift giving today. A lot of food and a lot of fellowship. A lot of good times. But Lord, we recognize that the greatest gift of all is when you sent your son Jesus. Bless us in this service today that we may worship you in spirit and in truth. That we will open our hearts and our minds to receive you today. And Lord, those who are outside of the ark of safety, Lord, we ask that you touch them right now and direct us into their path. Those who have, those who are homeless in these frigid temperatures, Lord, we ask that you bless right now provide a way, Lord, for them and their families. And then those who woke up this Christmas morning with no joy in their heart, Lord, we ask that you just deposit some joy in their spirit. Then, Lord, whatever that may be in our hearts and our minds today that shouldn't be, we ask that you take it out right now. So that we may be right, we may be saved, and we may be whole. Thank you, Lord. If we had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough to thank you for all you've done. Lord, we can just thank you right now. Because we're breathing right now. We can see right now. We can feel right now. We can taste and we can smell right now. We can open our mouths and just say thank you. Lord, go with us and stand by us. And we'll be ever so mindful is to give you the glory, give you the honor, and give you the praise. It's in Jesus the Christ's name we pray. Son of the Virgin Mary, one who was born in a manger, one who grew up, died on the cross for our sins, that we may have the right to the tree of life. In other words, that we may have a right to be here right now. It's in his name we pray. Book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter, beginning with verse six. Come on, just come on, keep moving. I don't want anybody to have to just stand. All right. The book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter, two verses, verses six and seven. Isaiah, the ninth chapter. Verses 6 and 7. Reading from the New King James Version from the book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter, verses 6 and 7. And it reads, For unto us a child is born, yes, Lord. unto us a son is given, mm -hmm. and the government will be upon his shoulder. Yes. His name will be called Wonderful, yes. Counselor, yes. Mighty God. Mighty God. Everlasting Father, yes, Prince of Peace, yes, of the increase of his government and peace, <laughs> there will be no end. Yes. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. 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 It's offering time.
church say amen. amen. Man, it's so good to see you all yes, this Christmas morning. If you were anything like me, you were probably moving a little slow. Uh, but God is still good. Amen. He allowed us to be here on this day. We thank the Lord for loving kindness and tender mercy uh, to God and our Father Jesus Christ uh, and the Holy Spirit. We are grateful today uh, to the preachers in the absence of Reverend Nelson, uh, who, who I spoke to last night, Reverend Harry Womack, Reverend Ida Merriweather, uh, to my wife, Miss Angela Cole, to all of the children of God who are gathered here today. Uh, just for a few minutes, uh, from the passage uh, that I read from Isaiah, I just want to talk for a few minutes from the subject of Christmas grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Christmas grace. Let's just thank you. You may be seated. If you look around uh, throughout this season, you see all types of Christmas trees lights and sounds and the other trappings of Christmas. Uh -huh. Cards are sent and gifts are given. Mm -hmm. Yet still, <clears throat> throughout all of the Christmas season, mm -hmm. some people have no idea right. of who Jesus really is. Come on, Pastor. In this morning's text, Isaiah leaves us with no doubt as to the identity of the child mentioned in those verses. When we look at the text, we find that Jesus is the embodiment of God's grace. Notice the phrase that is repeated in the text. For unto us a son is born. Unto us a child. A son is given, a child is born. Let me begin by, on this Christmas morning by saying that we can be grateful today. Because what we truly deserve is to be in hell. But unto us, a child is born. And unto us, a son is given. According to Ephesians chapter 2, and you have he quickened who were dead in trespass and sin. Yeah. Romans 3 and 23 said, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Right. Romans 6 23 says, For the wages of sin is death. Yes, John 3 18 said, He that believeth not is condemned already. Right. Romans 5 and 12 says, Wherefore as by one man sin entered the world and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. But in spite of all that, God still says, unto us. We deserve punishment, but a child is born. The mistakes we've made, the sins we've committed, the faults we have, the many times that we have broken God's commandments, how many times we know what is right, but we still choose to do wrong. God should have punished us forever, but he gave us a child and a son. Now, mercy is what God holds back from us, what we truly deserve. But grace is God giving us what we don't deserve. In the words of my, my late grandmother, she said, I sure not need mercy, but I thank God for grace. I, I need for God to hold back the punishment that I truly deserve. Yes, right. For I did enough yesterday yeah. to be in hell. Yeah. But grace woke me up this morning. Yeah. Grace allows me to stand here in this pulpit. Yeah. Grace is what gives me the strength to, to get out of it, to get to this church and to feed my family and take care of myself. Right. God does not owe me that. Right. He just gives it to me. Yeah. As an act of grace. Let me say this morning that 
you'll never enjoy church until you understand what grace is. You'll never lift your voice and say amen. You'll never shout. You'll never shed tears of joy. You'll, you'll never call with a giving spirit until you understand what grace really means. You and I should be in hell right now. I, I don't care how dressed up we are and how much money we got in our 401ks and how, much, how good we smell and what kind of cologne we wear and what kind of car we drive. What we truly deserve is hell but grace. God commended his love to us while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. God didn't wait for us to get our act together. He sent Jesus while we were still in our sin. He, he didn't wait for us to get a Bible or, or to get a scripture or to be baptized. He, 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 he died for us that we may have the right to the tree of life. You, you, you may not understand that, but, but somebody in here this morning, I, I, I need somebody in here that's been a crook in their lifetime. That's got some stuff in your past that, that you're ashamed to talk about right now. I need a witness that can testify that if the Lord hadn't covered you, I, I've got some stuff in my closet right now that, that I don't want you to find out. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Blind, but now I see. It was grace that woke us up this morning. It was grace that put food on our table. It was grace that kept us when we were showing out somewhere. We didn't have no business showing out. It was grace that kept us while we were cheating in the next room. It was grace. God's grace. In the text, and I'm almost done. Isaiah calls this baby a child and a son. A child. That's humanity. Son. That's divinity. He's a child and a son. That gives us what the theologians call a hypostatic union. He's, he, he's both God and man. He, he's not 50% God and 50% man. He's a hundred percent God, yet a hundred percent man. See, some people think that the greatest miracle is when Jesus died and got up. But let me tell you this morning, the greatest miracle of all time is when Jesus was born. Because he emptied himself of what he was, allowed himself to be born in a manger. He left the presence of angels. Yeah. He left the shining course of glory. Yes, he, he left glory and he came down in a peasant girl's womb yeah, and allowed himself to be born. Right. The event in eternity yeah. made his advent yeah. in the context of time. Yes, he, yes, he, 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 was, he, was, he was human, mm -hmm. yet he was divine. Yes. He, he was so human that he let himself be born. But he was so divine that he said, you must be born again. Right. Right. He was so human that he got thirsty. Yeah. But he was so divine when he said, I am the water of life. Yeah. He was so human that he got hungry. Yeah. Yet he was so divine that he said, I am the bread of life. Yeah. He was so human that he got tired. Yes, he but he was so divine, he said, that come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. My yoke is easy, yes, Lord. and my burden yes, is light. Yes, Lord. His birth, his, birth. Mm -hmm. his, life, his life, his death, oh, yes. his resurrection. Oh, yes. The greatest miracle yes, is that he came yes. in the first place. Yes. He, 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 did, he didn't come for nice people. Oh, yes. He didn't come for nice people. He came for wretches like us, yeah. crooks like us, yeah. mess ups like us, yeah. liars like yeah. us, yeah. trash, and he traded it all yeah. just for us. Yeah. Yeah. I remember growing up when the preacher would start talking about that, uh -huh. the people would start shouting and running all over the church. Yeah. From some old person in my childhood would say, if you're talking about Jesus, yeah. he's a friend of mine. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have a religion. Yeah. 
that I couldn't feel sometimes. It's getting late in the evening. The sun is almost down. Hush! Somebody's calling my name. Here we are in 2022. Living in good houses. Come on, Pastor. Driving good cars. Come on, Pastor. Eating steak and shrimp and lobster and crab legs. Yeah. I hate crab legs, but we're eating crab legs. Yeah. Wearing, working good jobs and wearing nice clothes, but we won't even lift our voices and tell God thank you. Somebody can testify in here today. Yes, Lord. That it was love. Yes, it was. Not my money. No, it was. Not my good looks. Not my friends in high places. Yeah. But it was, love. it was love. In other words, it was grace, it was grace. that lifted us. Yeah. And when you talk about Jesus, there's over 200 names in the scripture that you can use. He's called a strong tower. Yeah. A rose of Sharon. Yeah. He's the word become flesh and dwelt among us. Yeah. He's the glory of the only begotten of the Father. He's a mother to the mother. Father to the father. Yes, friend to the friendless and a cup to keep in the midnight hour. Thank you, Jesus. Christmas grace. Christmas Not what we have under the tree, Come on, Pastor. but what was born over 2,000 years yes, ago Lord. in a Bethlehem manger, yes, in a stable. In a stable. Uh, when we reenact that, you know, we have good fresh straw. You, you, you've seen it. You got real good fresh straw. Mm -hmm. And you put, you, you, you find a baby and you put, them, put some good clothes on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have everything looking so good. You know, like, 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 like he was born, he was born rich. Mm -hmm. But think about this. He was born in a manger. What's a manger? A dirty, stinking place. Where the animals came to eat. In a stable. Yeah. Us country folk call it a barn. Yeah. He was born in a barn. Yeah. In a trough. Yeah. Not, not, in, not in sparkling linen. Not, 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 not with diamonds and rubies. But he was born. The lowest of the low. Yeah. So that we. Regardless of what your station is in life, you can receive eternal life. He didn't come for good folks. You, can you think of any good folks? I can't, but if you can, that's okay. But he came for those of us who were lost in our sins. That's why he came. And we celebrate today. And as we go home, and some of you probably already done got up and took a peek at some of your Christmas presents, that's all right. But as we open our presents on this day, the greatest gift, the greatest present has already been opened. Amen. Jesus Christ. The greatest gift of all times. There will never be another gift so great. And the great thing about it is he came, he died, Got up, sent it back unto heaven. But but that's not the end of it. He's coming back. Yes, He's coming back. Yes, so all of this stuff that we going through on this earth with, 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 with people trying to take away our voting rights and and uh, you know trying to push us back to where uh, we were 50, 60, 70 years ago. Jesus is coming back. Yes, and, and and as people used to say, I know young people don't say that anymore. I'm behind the times. And when he comes back, he's going to straighten his business. Yeah. And if we are not ready to receive him, and, and I'm going to put a couple of periods right there. If we're not ready to receive him, get ready while there's still time. Get ready. Accept him today. Honor him today. Cherish him. Love on him today, for he's worthy. He's, worthy. he's grace. Yes, he he's our grace. Yes, and we thank God for grace today. Amen. Let us stand briefly today on this Christmas morning. Church on a Sunday.
Christmas Sunday, which won't happen again for another 11 years. Another 11 years. Some of us may not even be here when that happens, but we're here right now. We can give God the praise, the honor, and the glory right now. We can accept Christ right now. God can promise us 11 years from now. He didn't even promise us this afternoon. But what we got is right now. Now is the time. This is the place to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. All you have to do is call on his name. Call on his name. Just tell him I need you. Not, not, not any ritual. Not any ritual. All you have to do is call on him. If there be one today that wish to give their life to Christ, you can come now. And if there be none, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. It's my prayer. can sing yeah. beautiful spirits. Yeah, that's right, see, see, songs mean something when it comes from your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you know, you, 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 you can't be, you can be a great singer, but you got an ugly spirit. That's right. That's right. And it don't reach nobody. That's right. But this reaches. Thank God for you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, 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 now to the old folks. <laughs> Us old folks. Yeah, we already, you know we got it going on. God bless you all today. Good to see you. Uh, pray that your day be, be, be filled with joy uh, and laughter. But don't forget the reason for this season. Uh, 
I overheard a conversation, and I'm going to say this, and then we'll leave. I heard somebody talking about they were cooking today, and they had family over. And so uh, I'm going to say this to my wife. She, she's cooking, too. But after I eat, if I end up missing, I'll probably be at, over here at Sister Cookie's house. <laughs> she let the cat out the bag. <laughs> God bless you all, and I hope that uh, the Lord has uh, blessed you in a way, every way that you desire. But be a blessing to somebody else on this day. Amen. 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 Let us stand for the doxology, and then we'll receive the benediction. Yes. Wait, did somebody say something? Yes. Thank you. Sister uh, George Ruth Bond passed away. Everybody all know that? Amen. And her services will be what? Friday? Here Friday at noon. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for the family. Amen. Pray for the family. Am I missing somebody else? Yeah, Sister Ellison's son. Barbara Ellison's son. Grandson. Was in an accident Thursday night. Let's lift them in our prayers as well. You see, things are still happening uh, in the midst of this season of great joy. People still experience some sorrows. Amen. So let's keep them in our prayers. Lord, right now, we just ask that you bless the Bonds family during their time of bereavement. Comfort them as only you can. Then, Lord, we ask that you bless thee grandson of our own sister Barbara Ellis. Heal him right now, Lord. You could do it better than any doctor because you are a doctor in the sick room. Bless the Ellison family right now. Comfort them now as they worry about this young person. Lord, we know that you are a heavy load lifter. So lift whatever burdens that may be going through right now. Then somebody during this season experienced great loss. It may have been a year ago or 10 years ago. But their minds and their thoughts go back to that. So Lord, touch them now. If they think about loved ones that have gone on, strengthen them along the way. We thank you now, Lord Jesus. Amen. Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Let us all say together. Oh.